Join me as I take on the challenge of mastering self-control techniques and taming my impulses for a whole month in 2024. As we welcome a brand new year, many of us set out to achieve our personal goals, only to find ourselves struggling with self-control. We know what we want to achieve, but somehow, our impulses get the better of us, and we end up sabotaging our own progress. But what if I told you that there's a way to tame those impulses and unlock your true potential? That's what we're going to explore today. When it comes to self-control, many of us face a common set of challenges. For some, it's impulsive spending, we see something we want, and before we know it, we've swiped our card and made a purchase we might later regret. For others, it's overeating, we tell ourselves we'll just have one slice of cake, but before we know it, the whole cake is gone. And then there are those of us who struggle with procrastination, we know we need to get started on a project, but somehow, we always find a way to put it off until the last minute. These struggles with self-control can be frustrating, to say the least. We know what we want to achieve, but somehow, our impulses get in the way. And it's not just about willpower, it's about understanding why we behave in certain ways and finding strategies to overcome those behaviors. One of the biggest reasons we struggle with self-control is because our brains are wired to seek instant gratification. We're constantly bombarded with messages telling us that we deserve a treat, that we deserve to relax, and that we deserve to indulge. But the truth is, those impulses are often just a result of our brains trying to avoid pain or discomfort. So, how do we overcome these impulses and develop better self-control? Mindfulness is one of the most powerful tools for developing self-control. By becoming more aware of our thoughts and emotions, we can start to recognize when we're about to give in to an impulse. We can take a step back, breathe, and make a more conscious decision. Setting clear goals is another essential strategy, by knowing exactly what we want to achieve, we can create a roadmap for getting there, and avoid getting sidetracked by impulses along the way. Another technique that's been game-changing for me is using triggers to manage my impulses. For example, whenever I feel the urge to check my phone, I've trained myself to take a few deep breaths and ask myself if it's really necessary. It's amazing how often the answer is no. By identifying our triggers and developing strategies to overcome them, we can start to build better habits and achieve our goals. But here's the thing, even with all these techniques, it's not always easy. There are times when our impulses can feel overwhelming, and it's hard to resist them. That's why I want to share a powerful insight that's helped me dramatically enhance my self-control. It's the idea that our brains are capable of rewiring themselves, through repetition and practice, we can actually change the way we think and behave. It's not about removing our impulses completely, it's about learning to respond to them in a more intentional way. By applying these techniques and insights, I've been able to make some incredible progress in my own life. I've stopped procrastinating on important projects and started making healthier choices that align with my goals. And I want to encourage you to do the same, try out these techniques for yourself and see the difference it can make in your life. In conclusion, mastering self-control techniques is a game changer for achieving your personal goals. By developing mindfulness, setting clear goals, and using triggers to manage impulses, you can unlock your true potential and achieve incredible things. Thanks for watching, and I'd love to hear from you. What are some of the biggest self control challenges you're facing right now? Leave a comment below, and let's continue the conversation. And if you're ready to take your self control to the next level, be sure to check out my next video on building better habits. I'll see you in the next one.